shoes have gone from being a practical invention to help humans walk on uneasy terrain to being a style choice and sometimes a bold fashion statement. Over the years, shoes have gotten wilder and wilder. Some are totally unbelievable. Stay tuned as we talk about the 10 weirdest shoes you've never seen. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 10, Nine Inch Nail. Ouch, these shoes look like they would hurt. High heels are said to be painful anyway, but this is something else. Imagine putting all your pressure onto one tiny spot and standing on your tiptoes. That has to be excruciating. I'm not sure that we can even call these shoes, really. They're just a nail with an anklet and a decorative chain. Shoes were originally designed to protect people's feet, but there isn't any protection here. These shoes are more likely to harm the person wearing them than they are to help protect them. These can't be real shoes. I'd say they're some kind of piece of art from a fashion photography shoot. But what do you think? Number 9. Grass Sandal Do you ever have the urge to walk barefoot? <laughs> Me too, but sometimes there just isn't any grass around. Kusa shoes have created a grass sandal, and uh, yeah, it's pretty weird. Designed by Yashin, the Australian brand of sandal is lined with a layer of lifelike fake grass, which will give all summer loves the feel of walking through lush green fields. Kusa claims that the shoe gives wearers an extra layer of comfort and a piece of Australian fun and sun. Nike also released their own grassy shoes in January of 2019, the Nike Air Max 1 Golf Grass is a limited edition pair of shoes that sold for $140. Would you wear grass shoes? Number 8. Hoof Shoe While humans have five-toed feet, a lot of farm animals have hooves. It seems some people have been inspired by their hoofed friends and created shoes to replicate animals like horses, donkeys, goats, cows, and more. Humans have been pretty obsessed with hooved human-animal hybrids like centaurs for hundreds of years, but now we can buy shoes to help complete the look. Late British designer Alexander McQueen went through a big hoof phase in 2010, and these days you can buy pretty good ones as Halloween costumes. The weirdest hoof shoe has to be this 2009 creation from Frost Portman. The design is called Vegas Girl and features golden cow hooves with leather and cow fur, plus a heel made out of a toy pistol. Yeehaw! This brings a whole new meaning to cowgirl. Would you wear these? Number 7. Sandcastle I love the beach. Sun, sea, sand, it's all good, except when you get home to find sand in your shoes for weeks, which kind of sucks. But what if your shoes were made of sand? Then that would be fine, right? <laughs> okay, uh, sure. Check out these wacky sandcastle shoes. They look totally bizarre. I guess they were part of a costume or something. In theory, these are kind of cool, but I have two issues. One. The angle the sandcastles are on make them look like they're about to topple over, which is stressing me out. And two, the one place you don't need shoes is at the beach. This is the only shoe I want to see on the sand. Would any of you watching wear these crazy shoes? <laughs> Let us know. Number 6. Circuit Board You better be careful not to get electrocuted while wearing this pair of shoes. What a wild circuit board design. These shoes may not be for everybody, but I bet some people who love a futuristic vibe would love these unusual treads. Just don't wear them when it rains. It turns out they are actually from an art collection called PBS Mixed Media, created by New York artist Stephen Roderick. The shoes themselves are inspired by The Wizard of Oz and are called There's No Data Like Home. He made his art from printed circuit boards that had previously been destined for landfill. The artist spoke about his work and said, My goal is to manipulate each PCB into becoming an organic life form where the PCB characteristics become part of the living fabric, 
helping to shape its meaning, in order to manipulate each circuit board to form something other than what it was originally intended. That's pretty neat. Number 5. Shoe House You may have heard the rhyme about the old lady who lived in a shoe, but it turns out there's actually a real-life shoe house. In Helium Township in Pennsylvania, Ohio, there's a house built just like a shoe. The unusual building was constructed by shoe salesman Malone Haynes in 1948 to boost his business. That is what I call marketing. It's designed to look like a work boot, which he handed to an architect as a model. The shoe house is decorated inside with a shoe theme, and although Haynes never lived in it, it was used as a vacation home for several years and was later an ice cream parlor. These days, it's used as a tourist attraction and it's been featured in several television shows. If you ever are driving through Pennsylvania, why not make a stop and see this weird but great shoe house for yourself? Number 4. Hairy Tails Where do you draw the line with statement footwear? I'd say when your shoes need more hairstyling than you do before a night out. That's probably where you should draw the line. These shoes are already pretty unique. They are a gold leaf on a block of wood. But the ponytail adds a whole new dimension. These shoes were created by designer Masaya Kushino, a Japanese designer known for his quirky style. The creation is called Long Ta, which means horse of wind in Tibetan and imagines a fast galloping horse. I feel like most people would be less galloping horse and more tripping human when wearing these though. Okay, quick poll. Would you rather wear these or these? <laughs> the second pair are hairy fleshy shoes from designer Zhu Chan. Hair shoes, yes or no? Number three, Mexican pointy boots. Unless you live in Mexico and are into dance music, you will probably never have seen these crazy shoes. The Mexican pointy boot phase is a whole vibe, and thousands of dudes across the country are rocking them. I can't believe I'm just only learning about these. The Mexican pointy boot craze originated in Monterey in the Mexican state of Nuevo Leon and seemed to be linked to trance and electronic music. The shoes are like cowboy boots with some super long pointy toes and can stretch out as much as five feet. They're often paired with skinny jeans, shirts, and sombreros. It's a look. The shoes are associated with tribal guaracero music, and it is common to see dudes perform dance-offs while wearing these crazy shoes. The crazier, the better. Some people embellish their pointy boots with flashing lights and mirrors. Anyone out there want to rock these pointy boots tonight? I kind of love them. Number two human heels. This image has been circulated around the internet a lot, and of course, it's photoshopped. But there is a real shoe that looks just like it that has been freaking people out. Fashion label Fecal Matter, yeah, you heard that right. They created a controversial thigh-high boot made from silicone to match the model's skin tone. They have individual fake toes, a fleshy heel, and strange leg horns for extra effect. The shoes are supported by plastic underneath the ball of the foot. The designers, Hannah Rose Dalton and Steven Raj Bashkarin, are known for their wacky creations, and this pair of crazy shoes even made international news headlines. If you want a pair, you can buy your own for just $10,000. Number one, goldfish shoe. Now, this is too much. This has to be the craziest shoe I've ever seen. This shoe is a cross between a stiletto, a river wader, rubber wellingtons, and those fish tanks you put your feet in at the mall. A shoe with fish in it? Isn't that pretty cruel? While this shoe looks totally unbelievable, fish and platform shoes was an actual fashion trend in the 1970s. Seriously. Under 50 years ago, people were walking around with fish inside platform heels. This was before the world got a bit more woke when it comes to animal cruelty. Flamboyant designer Fred Slayton was known to have made a pair, and it's said that British pop superstar Elton John wore a pair in the 1970s. They even appeared in the 1970s cop movie Starsky and Hutch. Luckily, the trend was brief as people were put off with wearing dead fish in their footwear. Side note, 
Those fish pedicures are now banned in 10 states in the U.S., Canada, and a lot of European countries because they've been known to spread diseases. So, even if you did own these shoes, you might not want to share them with other people. Even if they were fake fish, would you wear these? I'm thinking fish shoes are too out there for me. That was the 10 weirdest shoes you've never seen, and now you have seen them. So you can tell me what you think. Is there any on this list you would actually wear? Do you like crazy shoes? Let us know in the comment section down below.